So my friend Gavin got a van, asked me to help him build it, and here we are. So hey guys, I'm gonna quickly go over this electrical system in this van. It's very simple, but it works really, really well. So everything here in the van, his whole entire electrical system was about $1,000, but he has really good components, and that's also including the diesel heater. So to start off, we have a Chins 100 amp hour lithium battery. It's a really, really good battery. It's just a basic battery, lithium battery, but it will do the job really well. And next, what we have sitting on top of it is Gavin's Renogy 20 amp DC to DC charger. And that just allows him to charge from his alternator off of his battery in his truck. So when the van is running, it's going to be charging the battery. It's all hooked up, ready to go. It runs about 16 to 18 amps is what we saw yesterday. So it's doing a great job. And for a 100 amp hour lithium battery, it's a good size because 20 amps, you know, by the time he drives out to a campsite or whatever, his battery's full. Now the next part of it, is his basic solar system. So we installed a Renogy Wanderer, that's the solar charge controller, and then he has a 100 watt solar panel on the roof that we installed. And that's just enough uh, to trickle charge, it will compensate for his lights and stuff like that. But it's not a serious charger, it's more of a trickle charge that will keep him afloat if he's using lights and things like that. And throughout the day, he would be able to completely recharge his batteries depending on how much he used the night before. And it's a 30 amp charge controller, so he could add 300 more watts of power on his roof if he ever wanted to. But with the DC to DC charger, he probably won't need to or want to because he could just start his van up and it would charge really fast. Those three items really make up the whole entire electrical system as far as giving power to his lights, his diesel heater, his small 300 watt inverter. And then right here is a shunt. And what a shunt does is it gives you a readout of what you're taking in and what you're pulling out. So the negative goes here and then it connects to the negative going to the fuse block. And so this thing gives you a complete readout of what your battery percentage is, how much you're taking in, how much you're using. It's really, really nice to have. So you're not trying to just guess how much battery you have. And now working away right here, this is just a very cheap and simple six fuse block so everything is coming to this fuse block right here it's the main power it's the main charging everything is fused before it hits the battery and um, very simple way of doing it and very inexpensive as well so if he ever needed to turn something off he could just pull the fuse out rather than spending all the extra money to get like breakers and switches and everything we just ran everything here first and then it connects to the battery. So, and then we have our master battery shut off. So that completely turns the batteries off. Honestly, that's really it for his whole entire electrical system. Uh, right now you can see we have some lights turned on. It's all running off his battery. Turn this little inverter on. Now we got the LEDs on. So it's really a nice simple system that he'll have no problems with. So his diesel heater uses barely any electricity, barely any fuel. It's a really great system for what he's gonna be doing. A little bit of solar, DC to DC charging. The whole system, including his heater, costs you know just under a thousand bucks. And that's the wiring and everything. So this is a really a good system and perfect for just kind of like a weekend warrior camper van. And if you ever wanted to do more with it, he could easily expand it, which that's the best part about this. Rather than buying a Jackery or something like that, like those are good if you don't know what you're doing, but if you know what you're doing, you can get way more for actually a lot less.